we had a lot of studies about the use of media, we had a lot of studies about uh, the types of media, we had lots of studies about uh, accessibility, we have all types of studies about e-participation of e democracy but then we, we miss the most important part, the dynamics of powers. Why? Maybe because it's difficult to develop a framework that is able to understand how the dynamics of power influence e-participation. Maybe also because most of the studies, at least the studies that I have seen in these years related to e-participation, are financed by the same people who are involved in the project that these people should assess. Those may be the two reasons why. What we know is that this lack of consideration, this lack of, uh, of, of capacity of studying e-participation caused a lot of misunderstandings. X, which is an e-government expert, thinks that 85% of all projects in, in, the, in the field of e-governance, international cooperation projects in, in, in developing world, are a failure or a total failure or a partial failure, and he finds these uh, six the reality gaps, he calls it reality gaps, you know. I believe that these reality gaps can be integrated with the discourse conflicts. When I talk about discourse conflicts, I'm talking about the fact that when a donor sends money to a developing country to start an ICT project, he thinks that success for that project means that that project meets the goal that the donor set. But the reality is that the person who receives the money belongs to a political establishment or to a political party or to somebody who has a very clear vision of the fact that participation, as we said before, it's a problem for both politicians and bureaucrats. So, you know, if we shift the perspective, and if we try to see things according to the will and to the intention and to the discourse behind the actors who are managing that project, who are entitled to manage that project, then we see what does it mean to be successful or not. I believe that discourse conflict can be defined can be, and can be the reasons behind the definition of success or not. So who can say that the project is a success? Also, only the, the person who sets the goal, who, 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 who is entitled to manage that project.